Hey, what's up? YouTube or Rumble, depending on which one you're looking at. Welcome to today's Crack That Crap Open. Little noisy, close to the highway. New little park. Right there's a, a creek. I'm in Rock Creek. Right there. Nice little park. Just too close to the road. Today, a little something something different. I'm gonna bust open a pouch of the Sutler Spice Drum 704. First of all, Sutliff, you're ripping us off. 1.5 ounces. This was blended by Carl McAllister. Never heard of him before. So here we go. Get my plummy, plum kind of smell. It's dark. This is a blend of, where did I write it down, man? Black Cavendish, Burley, and Virginia. And it is a ribbon cut. Today's pipe of choice Brooks Brothers poker. At one time, Brooks Brothers carried pipes and a tobacco selection in their clothing stores. So let's get the packet. The pouch note, pretty strong smell of plum. Just a little ways below the rim. If this one's a keeper, when I get back to the house, I will jar that up. Today's lighter is the Bism. that I think I won this from uh, Hobbleton Piper. It's been a while, but I'm pretty sure. Or maybe not. Back up with the Briarworks. Well, all else fails. The Zippo never fails. Must be a little cool for them. On the charring light,
getting a plum raisiny flavor, which you would expect from rum. Dr. Pepper. Yeah. This is, rum is the only thing that this is topped with. It's not a strong rum, but you get a you get a hint of raisin. <coughs> Reminds me of having a slice of rum raisin cake. Next week we'll be somewhere else. Burning good. Got a nice, nice ash going on there. I've had this pouch about four months, so it's fresh, no age on it. Of course, a lot of y'all say aging a aromatic doesn't do anything. Well, speaking of a person with an uneducated palate, I find that if you like the smoke, when it's fresh and you let it age a few months, a year, the flavors will get more intense. So this is gonna go home, it's gonna go in the jar. put it over on the side of the cabinet with items to be aged for a minimum of six months and I'll try it again. So that concludes today's episode number three yeah, of Crack That Crap Open. Next week, chances are I'm going to grab something non-aromatic out of the cabinet to crack open. We'll see how that goes. Hope you're well and I hope you're safe. Every day is a school day. If you're not learning, you are being left behind. See you soon.